Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of The Royal Family. In the last episode, Princess Anna got married to Sir Marshall of Brindleton Bay. So they are now married and we had a beautiful wedding for them at the Grand Hotel of Windenburg, which we eventually want the Windenburg family, the Royal Windenburg family to own because I think it's just something, it's amazing, it's a beautiful venue and I'm just so glad we had the wedding there. So that is a goal of mine to eventually have the Royal Family of Windenburg own that venue. And then we also have had Princess Anna and Sir Marshall, they are now pregnant. So they tried for a baby at the end of their wedding. So now Princess Anna is pregnant. So in this episode, I'm gonna focus on a few things. I do think I want to have Princess Anna have her baby by the end of this episode. So I think she's in her second trimester at the moment, so she still has a little bit more time. But I also want to focus on the royal family of Willow Creek, because I always say that I wanna focus on them because they're one of my favorites and I just like, it just slips by me. So that's what we're going to do in this episode. So before we begin, don't don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and to turn on your notifications. Don't forget to follow us on social media if you want to keep track of our posting schedule. The link to our Twitter and everything is in the description below. So let's go ahead and begin today's episode. So like I said, we are focusing on the royal family of Willow Creek. I actually am trying to get some portraits painted of King Derek and Princess, or sorry, Queen Cora. I'm still in that habit of calling her Princess. Cora, but Queen Cora, because they are now the king and queen of Willow Creek. So I'm getting some portraits painted of them. We had, I know you guys didn't get to see this because this was the, one of the episodes where, oh, okay, uh, unfinished assignment. When Prince Jack gets to his class, he realizes his timeline is due. The one he was supposed to start weeks ago, he eyes a stack of papers piling up on the teacher's desk. All he needs is a few minutes alone with one. Does he try to copy classmates or confess the truth? Just confess the truth. So Prince Jack's teacher commends him for his honesty and gives him a one-time extension. That's awesome. Okay, so it's always good to tell the truth. Oh my gosh, love letter. Prince Louis is grabbing his lunch from his backpack when he sees a note. Oh, I know this one. You're supposed to wait and see because I think it's just a trick. Yeah, he waits to see if someone comes forward. Um, and it turns out to be like other kids making fun of him. So that's not good, but I'm glad that he didn't confront anyone and embarrass himself. So um, yeah, so one of the episodes you guys didn't get to see because my OBS recording software wasn't working was the funeral for King, uh, oh, did I say King Derek before? I meant to say King Edmund before. Um, who's calling us? Oh my gosh, guys, there's like too much stuff going on at the moment. Uh, Princess Belle spent most of recess running and trying to kiss some of the other students. She didn't catch anybody, but the other students were running away. Too young for, for kissing, just kids being kids. No, I gotta say too young for kissing. You don't wanna make excuses for her. Um, so yes, okay, so I meant to say King Edmund before, but I accidentally said King Derek. So King Derek was the king that passed away, and then Queen Elena was the queen that passed away. This was King Edmund's parents. Um, and so we had the funeral for them in the episode that you guys didn't get to see because my OBS was making my recordings all freeze up. So that, the, the, I just like changed the room because this room originally looked very similar. It was like almost symmetrical to this room, instead of it just didn't have like the piano and stuff. It had like a few other things in there um so i changed into one big room because in the windenburg palace we have like a throne room so i think this is kind of like the throne room too so i might actually change like the wallpaper and flooring because i don't like it it looks very like old to me like outdated so i think we're actually going to do that too but i realized too guys the episode where where everyone died like a few episodes ago um th that means that king edmund lost his parents and his sister and his aunt in one day. Like that is the most horrifying thing. I didn't, that didn't even, that thought didn't even occur to me. Um, but it was like, I, I realized that later and I was like, that is so, so sad guys. It is so upsetting. So yeah, so that, that I realized. Um, okay, so this is the portrait I painted or we painted or Queen, or uh, Queen, oh my God, Queen Cora painted of King Edmund. It's not bad. I don't like the red just randomly in there. I kind of wanted it to be more plain. So I might try this again um, and just redo that. So let's try to just fix this a little bit. I also kind of want to just like get to know the kids a little bit better, better because I realized we don't like get to hang out with them much. And since they're all triplets, they're all like, I mix up the boys a lot. Like, I just, I don't know the difference between the two, to be honest. So I need to, I need to fix that. Um, so I'm going to try this again and have King Edmund come back here. I'm going to have uh, Queen Cora also come over here. And then I'm going to have King Edmund change his outfit. 
So you guys haven't seen this outfit yet on him, but it's amazing. I love this so much, it's custom content. And you guys can find all the custom content on my Pinterest board, which is in the link in the description below. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely amazing. I love it so much. Okay, so we want her to do a painting from reference and a large painting from reference. So we can hopefully try to get a good picture of King Edmund. I'm hoping we do. It's always kind of difficult to do this. This isn't the best. The angle is not great, but why don't we just why don't we just see what this looks like and try it? It's okay to have like a few different portraits. I think that's fine. Just in case just in case God forbid something happens to one of them. Also in the last episode, I know you guys saw that like some of my portraits went blank, went completely black and I was freaking out cuz some of them were like portraits I can't redo because like the Sims have passed away. But I, I since the update, we got that update that fixed all of our custom content and mods and stuff. Since then, it's been fine. The portrait reappeared, so I'm really excited to show that to you guys too so um so yeah while queen cora does that so we kind of have like the bedrooms upstairs this castle has like a ton of bedrooms i was kind of keeping this as princess Belle's bedroom for now just because she is a child so i kind of had her in the playroom um but i think this is going to be her bedroom i don't know though it's a little bit small like the sizes of these rooms are, are very very different maybe because this one has a closet maybe i could just get rid of the closet and then like move her here or something like that. I'm not sure. Um, but then I also redid the master bedroom in here too because I didn't like it before. I think it was like, was it? I think it was like yellow before. I did not like it. So I changed it to the um, the pack from the Get Famous pack. I, I'm obsessed with the furniture in the Get Famous pack, guys. It's so, it's perfect for our royal family. Um, so I, I did it like that. I kind of had like, the, the gold and the blue since their family colors are blue. And then I also really want to get a portrait of the three kids together. So that might be a little bit difficult. I'm definitely gonna have to wait until the kids come back from school to do that. Um, I'm not exactly sure where to do that at, but I, I really would like to get a picture. Can three of the kids sit on a, on a bench at one time? I don't think so. Even if they do though, they might sit really far away from each other. So I'd, I wouldn't want them to do that but i think we could have it have like the pictures in the garden but then again like it's really hot outside so we would have to get this done like very very quickly so the kids don't all like overheat because that would not be a good thing um and i'm trying to think of the best place to do this portrait at we could do it like oh you know what we could just do it like in front of the palace here and have the kids stand like right there Ooh, yeah let's do that okay so i didn't actually realize i have a painting room here oh my gosh and you can see i don't know if you guys can see this but like see the waves of heat like like everything is kind of like like deep like hazy a little bit it's because of how hot it is outside so that's not good at all but um okay i want this easel i'm gonna put one right here oh no place it on the floor and then i'm gonna flip it around so we can see um, and then I'm gonna have them all kind of like right. I guess I guess we'll put this here. I hope this is far away enough. I'm not actually sure. We're gonna have to test this out. Um, so let's go ahead and well, well, we have to wait to, till the kids actually come home from school. So we're gonna have to wait to do that. I think I'm okay with like I was thinking about changing their outfits, but I feel like their outfits are fine um so i think it'll be okay also i had the, in the last episode i didn't get a chance to do this but i wanted to show you guys like the noble families and and who we've had get married and who's had kids because i tried to just like i try to just keep the game updated with like the families that we don't play like the noble family so some some families had babies um some some people got married too so we can go ahead and check that out too i'm just like waiting for the kids to get back from school and they're supposed to be back in like an hour so I think that's okay. Another thing I realized in this monarchy mod that we have is that the the hours, because I was wondering, like they get paid. Not, I mean, not a not a whole ton. Like they didn't, they don't get paid as much as they did for the political career. But they only work for four hours, so they really don't make that much money. So like they're gonna have to work for like a like a a really hard race. But it is really easy to get a raise once they've hit that king and queen career um, or career level. So. After they hit that, like, it's pretty easy to get a raise, but they only get raised, like, I think by, like, $10 or something like that. So that's kind of a downfall of it, um, but but we'll see. I'll see if I if I decide to keep the, the monarchy mod. Um, so should Prince Louis invite over classmate Prince Kellen, their cousin? Yeah, sure. Okay, so they're inviting over their cousin, but I do want to get the kids kind of arranged here, um, and I'm going to 
put the walls down so we can actually see. So I think I'm gonna have both boys on the sides and then Princess Belle in the middle here. So I don't, I don't, I hope this doesn't take too long. I don't know what this is gonna be like, but they all need to change also into their normal, do we want them to change into their formal outfits? Let's do, let's do formal, just, just because. Um, so formal outfit, so change outfit. And then I, we have like all the different tones of blue, which is really, really cool. Um, so, oh yeah, guys, this is, this is gonna be a great, if we get this right, it's gonna be a good picture. Um, so, and then I also need to have Princess Cora be down here so she can actually paint a picture. So then I want all of the kids to face forward. Hopefully we can do this right. And then hopefully Princess Belle's dress doesn't block everybody too because I have a feeling that's gonna happen. Okay, so everyone's turning around. Princess Belle, you need to change. Awesome, okay. Okay, so how is this going to work? Let's see, I really hope I get this before they move. Um, let's do paint from reference, large painting from reference. I don't know if they're clo- oh, and they're all- both boys are looking to the side. I don't think this is gonna- oh wait, oh no! Oh, that's not a good angle! Okay, well now I know. Okay, so that- so I don't want to keep that there. I need to move this. I'm going to move this to the side. So let's do it like- I guess just like right here? Maybe? Cause I, okay, well I want to be as close as possible because I can zoom out, but I can't zoom in. So we'll do it from there, and then I want both... Should I just try to get them a little bit closer? I don't think I'm going to be able to without clicking on Princess Belle's dress. So let's try just like getting a little bit closer. Okay guys, so that, this, it's already nighttime because this took so much longer than I thought it would. This is the best picture I think I'm going to get of them. So yeah, I, and I'm going to do the medium one because with the large painting, it's like really long and it just like looks kind of funny. So I think I'm going to do this. I think this is the best picture. This seriously took so much longer than planned. I was not expecting that to take so freaking long. Looks like Queen Cora has some sort of hysteria, so she needs to take some medicine. But yeah, hopefully that portrait is okay. Like that took like, like, like 15 to 20 minutes, I think. That just took so long. I was, oh my gosh, I was not expecting it to be that long, guys. So I think that's it for the portraits. I do not want to do that again. I really do want one of the kids of Windenburg, though. I would love to get one. Oh, what did I just knock down? Um, I would love to get one of the Oasis Springs family, too. But if it's going to take that long, I am not going to do that on camera because that was insane. That took so long. I think I'd rather just do like screenshots or something. But yeah, okay, so they're done doing that. It looks like Prince Louis is doing the violin and then Prince Jack, he's dancing. Um, Princess Cora looks like she's about to go play with her dollhouse. I'm gonna have her change her outfit too. Um, so yeah, so I just kind of wanted to get the, to get to know the kids a little bit better too. Um, so I'm not gonna listen to that violin though because it sounds awful, but they have like, so I was kind of thinking, I don't know if I'm 100% ready to do this yet, but I was thinking of having Princess Amira of Windenburg age up in the next episode. So then shortly after her, like all of the other kids are going to be aging up too. So I, uh, am I ready? I don't know. I guess we'll see in the next episode. I, they've been kids for a pretty long time. So I, I think it might be ready. I know that King Henry of Windenburg just became an adult too. So he's not a young adult anymore. Um, but yeah, so for basically for Prince Louis, I mean, his, his character values, um, they all went to go volunteer. I thought his, his empathy would be better, but it's not. It looks like we need to increase his manners, his emotional control. We might need to get them some journals or something. It looks like he's musically talented, so that's interesting. So we got that from the Slice of Life mod and from just playing the violin and stuff. He's also a genius. He's really smart, guys. He's also the heir to the throne. Prince Louis is the heir to the throne. Then we have Prince Jack. I was kind of thinking of changing his name to spell like J-A-Q-U... J is it J-A-Q-U-E? 
but just because I don't think Jack is like very royal. Maybe we'll do like Jackson. I mean, Jackson isn't very royal either. I feel like Jack would be short for something. I just don't know what. Um, but anyway, so Prince Jack, he is a goofball. He's also musically talented. All these kids are musically talented. He needs to increase his responsibility and manners for sure. Maybe he should actually start doing his homework. Um, so he'll do his homework and then I'm going to have King Edmund help him with his homework because they need to increase their relationship with their kids. So help your son with this. Oh, I mean, he's got a pretty good relationship with Prince Jack. Um, and then we have a Princess Belle um, and she is, I was actually very surprised. Um, and I'm sure those of you who have seen the episodes before, I was very surprised when she became a toddler and when I found out she was blonde because I was expecting her to have brown hair like her brothers do. Um, but yeah, no, she's blonde. Um, but her empathy is like really good. She's got pretty good empathy. Um, her manners are doing okay. Conflict resolution, we need to increase. Um, and then she's also musically talented and she's just good. She's a sweetheart. Super loving, super caring. With the kids, oh, I need to like put the walls back up. Oh, how did the portrait turn out? Did this turn out okay? Um, let's see. It's okay. They're not like lined up or anything like that, but I, it's, it's fine, guys. I'm not, I'm not gonna be super picky about this just because that was so much work and it took so much longer than expected. I was not expecting it to take that long. So I want to put, I don't like the wallpaper really that much in this room. I kind of want to change that. I'm just trying to think where to put this portrait. Um, I feel like we can move some of the portraits that are in here. Um, so why don't I go ahead and do that? So we'll move these portraits and then I also need to get a portrait of Queen Cora done too. Um, so we'll put this just right here. Frame the canvas. There we go. So that's a cute little portrait of them. It's not great, but you know what? It's fine. So Queen Cora, she was painting King Edmund and wait, wait, I thought I moved that wallpaper. Was that wallpaper still in there? No. What? I'm confused. That wallpaper wasn't in there, right? Um, I'm just going to change the wallpaper in this room because I, I don't love it. And I kind of wanted to have just like a little bit more more color to it. Or I guess the stripes are okay too. Uh, well, no, let's let's stick with this one. Um, or should we make it blue? Let's do the blue and white one, I like this. Although I don't think it matches the room very well. Okay, uh, the pink one, is that too much? Or the yellow? Let's go with the yellow, just to give it like a little bit more color. Um, but yeah, I, I still don't like the red in the back of here, so I think I'm gonna sell this one. I'll worry about their portraits later. I don't wanna like worry about that too much because we're going to have to go to the royal family of Windenburg soon so we can go see Princess Anna before she has her baby. I do wanna make sure all the kids are getting their homework done though so let's have Princess Belle also do her homework. I will have Queen Cora help her with her homework um, and then I will also have Prince Louis do his homework. He's gonna breeze through homework so it looks like oh right he's the, he's the genius so he's very smart so I'm gonna have um, King Edmund help him with his homework as well. Uh, so yeah so they I mean like they're not as they're younger than Princess Amira so I don't, they'll probably change into teenagers in a few episodes, probably not the next episode. I think once Princess Amira, once we age her up, shortly after that, we're just gonna have a lot of birthdays and a lot of kids aging up. I'm not gonna have a ton of birthday parties because it's a lot. I'll probably have a birthday party for the triplets just because it's all three of their birthdays, but I probably won't. And and probably for Princess Amira too, but I don't know if I'll have a big birthday party for everyone. But yeah, I mean, we have the, the triplets, they're super sweet. So I know then Prince, that, I mean, that's good to know that Prince Louis and Prince Jack, they've got very different personalities. Um, so Prince Louis is the genius and then Prince Jack is the goofball. So he's definitely gonna be super outgoing and stuff. So it looks like everyone has finished their homework. So let's go ahead then and change over to the family of Windenburg. So Princess Anna and Sir Marshall, they're still living at the Windenburg Palace. And I like it because like they've been helping the kids with their homework. I mean, there's three kids and King Henry's a single dad now. So it's really hard for him to be able to like keep up with all that too. So that is why I had them move in just to help out because Queen uh, Queen Alice has passed away, so there's no other like adults in the house. It's just really the butler. So I wanted them to be close with their aunt. I wanted them to help out with her too, or I wanted her to help out with everything. So I, I think though, when she has her baby, she's probably going to need to move out. Um, and we'll move them back into their house in Del Sol Valley. Um, or I don't know, I kind of want her to be like close to the family too. 
I don't know. I'm still kind of deciding their future. Like if we want them to be the like the like have a noble title or anything like that. So we'll just have to see. Oh, you know what? But while we are waiting for them, um, while we're waiting for Princess Anna to have her baby, then I'll probably show you guys the noble families too. Okay, so I just have like the kids at the Windenburg Palace. They are, they're working on their homework. They're about to go to school. Oh, Princess May, she was working on her project, but she actually needs to work on her homework really quickly. She's like very, very close to being done with her project. But yeah, so like Sir Marshall, he's like helping her out. This, I mean, this is his new niece now. Um, he's helping her out with her projects and her homework. And then I had um, before, yeah, Princess Anna was helping Prince Kellen out with her, with his uh, homework too. Um, so it's just, it's just nice to have like the adults helping all of the kids. I'm gonna see if Princess Amira can get her extra credit work done before she goes to school. I will have King Henry help her with that. Um, so help her with homework. And then Princess May, um, Sir Marshall, can you continue to help her with her homework too? They've got really good relationships with their aunt and uncle now. Um, so it, it's just nice to, to have those adults there. Oh no, wait, Princess May, did you not finish your homework though? You need Oh, okay, she did finish her homework. She was just trying to do her extra credit work before she goes to school. And then Princess Amira, she'll be a little bit late, but she should be able to go too. So Princess Anna, she is in her third trimester now. Um, so she should be having her baby later tonight. It is raining pretty, pretty badly. It looks like it's going to rain all day, which is not fun, um, but it's gonna be like really hot tomorrow. Wait, whose birthday is it today? Oh, oh. Oh, wait, King Henry's birthday. I thought his birthday already happened, but I guess not. I thought we made a birthday cake. We did! I'm just going to have King Henry blow out his birthday cake now, just because otherwise, if you don't, they get really sad because like they didn't get to have their own birthday party. Um, so I'm gonna have King Henry blow out his birthday candles now. He doesn't need to have a big birthday party. I mean, like, hes it's just like turning from a young adult into adult in this game doesn't mean much to me at all. Um, so yeah, we'll just have him do that. But uh, Princess Amira, she's off to school. I don't know who's calling her. It might be the principal because she was running a little bit late. But yeah, let's have Prince he or King Henry blow out the candle. So he's going to be an adult. So he's no longer a young adult. He is an adult. Um, so he is in adulthood. It looks like so a lot of people. Whoa, wow. Yeah, he's gotten a lot of presents from people. And I'm gonna throw the cake in the fridge in case we need it in the future. Hopefully it won't be like expired or anything like that. Um, and then we also need to have him. I saw I saw bills that were needing to be paid. Um, yeah, pay the bills. $46,000, guys. That is a lot, jeez. Um, and then we just have, oh, wow, it's dark up here, guys. I did not realize how dark it is up here. Um, so we should probably change that. Um, but yeah, we don't, like, I haven't used up here in a while. We have, like, a whole spa area up here. We have a gym. It's nice for them to have, like, the gym and the wellness area with the yoga mats and stuff. I really do like that pack that it came with. Um, I love, like, taking them all to the spa and stuff, especially if they go on vacation or anything like that. Um, so King Henry's off to work. Princess Anna should be having her baby later tonight. So let me go ahead and show you guys the uh, the nobles. I'll just, I'm not gonna go into, well, maybe I will. Maybe I'll show you guys the families and stuff so we can see some, some of the babies that they've had. We do have like some people who have gotten married and such. Um, so let's see, let's start with the Windenburg Palace who has gotten Okay, so I had Lady Tierra and Lord Derek. You guys did see this in one of the episodes when I got them together. So they have had a baby. So let's go and let's go see their baby because it's not named. I don't know if it's a boy or girl. I don't know what its name is. Um, and I need to change the name to like Lady or Lord. So let's see. They, gee, whoa, that is an interesting name. Is this a boy or a girl, guys? Um... Why don't we go ahead and age this baby up into a toddler? Um, so we'll age it up and then I can I can actually see if it's going to be a boy or a girl. And then I do, I think I probably want them to have another baby too. Um, so I'll have them try for a baby. It Gianni, I think it's a boy. Um, yeah, okay. So that is an interesting name, guys. I have never seen, I've, I've heard the name, but I've never seen it smelled like, smelled. I've never seen it spelled like that. Um, let's make him a charmer, I guess. I don't know. Um, so this is Lord Gianni. Um, so I'm gonna have them try for a baby. I don't 
No, no, if I'm going to have, I might like change their names and change their outfits off camera just because I don't actually know how long this episode is because I spent so much time trying to get that portrait together. Um, so let's go ahead and just have them try for a baby first. And they are trying for a baby. And then I will see if they are pregnant again. Gosh, guys, I hate one of the thunderstorms, though. It's just like it's a lot. It's a lot of rain. It's a lot of thunderstorming. Everyone's like just uncomfortable all the time because they're wet from the rain. So, um, okay, so Lady Tierra is pregnant again, so that's good. So she's having another baby. Um, so this one we'll have we'll have two babies in this house. I'm trying like there's so many kids now. There's so many people. I'm just starting to try to just limit the amount of kids that we're having. We but we do we have Lord Gianni. I'm just going to just change. I think I'm just going to change his name. Maybe I'll pick some styled outfits for him. Um, but for the other kids, I'm, I'm just going to like age them up into toddlers. I'm not really going to do much else for them. So. Um, we have Lord, oh, okay, Lord Gianni, so yeah, no, yeah, I'm not gonna spend the time to pick out his outfits and such, so we'll go ahead and go to Manage World so I can show you guys everyone else who has gotten married and had kids. Okay, so the other families, so Brindleton Bay, um, this is Sir Marshall's sister, we have Lady, oh no, she had twins, oh gosh, okay, that's all the kids they're having. So Lady Tierra, may, or not Lady Tierra, oh my gosh, Lady Malaya married Lord Franklin, um, who was, he, he's actually King Henry's cousin. Um, King Henry and um, Queen Cora and Prince Alice's cousin. So he lived here. Um, so he was the younger of the two. Oh my gosh, what ridiculous outfits are they wearing? Um, but Sir Matthew was supposed to be in line to get the title of the Marquis. So he got married to Lady Malaya of Brindleton Bay. So he's actually, since Sir Marshall gave up the title to give to his sister, he's actually going to be the, uh, what is it? I think, yeah, it's the Earl. So he's going to become the Earl of Brindleton Bay. So they had two kids and let's let's see what kids they have and if they had boys or girls but yeah oh my gosh they had twins so i think i'm gonna cut it off there i don't think we're gonna have them try for another baby okay so we have oh gosh oh my gosh her umbrella just turned upside down that's terrifying um okay so they're babies kayla and i think that's kayla and christina so they had twin girls guys that's awesome oh my gosh okay so we're going to age them up um and then we're going to i'm assuming this is is this lady kayla yeah it looks like she's up first and guys should wait hold on she's already a b-lister what oh but what but then lady christina doesn't have any any celebrity level at all that's so weird okay well, that is that is really weird. They're twins, but like Lady Kayla is like way more famous and no one knows about her twin sister apparently. Um, so we'll make Lady Kayla angelic, I guess. Um, and then I'm going to have her age up Lady Christina. Um, so let's do that really quickly. Um, and then I'm just, I'm going to change their names another time because I don't want to spend time doing that. We're just going to have Lady Christina be clingy. Um, so I don't know what happened. It looked like she almost dropped her, but I think that was a glitch. Also, whoa, I didn't even know I had that hair for the toddlers. Okay, so they look nothing like their mother. They look like their father. Like, I'm actually kind of disappointed that they look exactly like their father. <laughs> their hair color, though, like... Her hair color matches her mom, so they're definitely not identical twins, and her hair color matches her dad. But yeah, okay. So they, yeah, so they had twin girls. So that is Sir Marshall's sister. Um, so this is Princess Anna's nieces. So she's got two little nieces. I'm sure she's really happy about that. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna make them have another kid just because I think that's going to be like, I don't, I don't want all these households to have like a ton of kids because it's just like a lot to keep track of right now. So someone else who got married is the is Lady Tierra's brother, Duke Addy. Um, I had him marry Lady Blair, so Duchess Blair. Um, so I think she was from Windenburg. So they also had a baby. So we'll go see their baby. So yeah, Duke Addy, he is Lady Tierra's half half brother. Um, so he he actually like became Duke at a very young age. I think he became Duke. I don't know if it was when he was, was it when he was a child? His father died when he was really young, but then but then his mother also passed. Yeah, maybe he became Duke when he was a teenager. Um, so he's been Duke for a while. So he's been running things on his own. What are you wearing though? Like seriously, no, this is not okay. I'm not okay with that. But they had a baby. I think that 
Lady Blair is gorgeous, guys. I love her. I love this little Ariana Grande hair for her. Um, I don't I don't remember picking this outfit for her for a hot weather outfit, but I guess I did. Um, but like the black long hair and she's just like, I think she's beautiful. Her facial structure is really, really pretty too. So I'm very interested to see what this baby is going to look like. I don't know if it's going to look like their father, or if it's going to look like their mother. I don't know if I'll have them try for another baby at the moment. Um, maybe. Baroness Shayna sent a gift. Oh, okay. So her name is Lori. I don't, mm, I don't know how I feel about that name. Okay. So she looks like her father. So I think I'm going to have the, I, I'll have them try for another baby just because I love this hair on her. I think I'm like, I missed a bunch of the toddler hair. I think I might've downloaded like a toddler stuff pack. Um, and I didn't realize all the hair here that I, I had not used because like we haven't had toddlers in a while also i just saw that i don't know if you guys saw that but like the the romance level keeps going down for them when they go to try for a baby like i've had that happen to couples multiple times and i don't know why that happens but it's weird um but yeah so i am going to have them uh name lady ah uh, no i'll do that i'll do that outside of the, of recording um so let's take a pregnancy test actually i don't think she likes kids guys yeah, she hates children, whoops. He th hates athletic sims, love romantic sims. Oh, and she's not pregnant. Maybe it wasn't meant to be, guys. If she hates children, maybe we'll just have the one girl. I think that's fine. I think that's okay. Um, so yeah, I guess it just wasn't meant to be with them. Or not meant to be, but yeah, they were meant to have another kid. Um, so I want to go ahead, just because this video is getting really long, I want to have Princess Anna to have her baby as soon as possible. So let's go ahead and try to do that i think she's still got time like i think she's not gonna have her baby until like later this evening so we might have to like fast forward through some things i don't think i'm gonna move them back into their del, del sol valley house yet um so we'll just like maybe maybe we'll do that in the next episode okay so if like the whole pregnancy thing follows the time correctly we should have uh, Princess Anna should be having our baby around 8 p.m. Um, I don't know if it does follow the time exactly or correctly, but I guess we'll just have to see. Um, so are the kids, I want to make sure they're all still doing their homework and stuff. So I'll have Princess Amira breeze through her, her homework. Oh my gosh, I can't speak. Um, and then I'm going to have Sir Marshall because he's not super close with Princess Amira. I will have him help her with her homework and then i'm going to make sure all the kids are doing their homework it looks like princess may she's actually pretty good at playing the violin i don't know if she's counted as musically talented yet um let's see she is uh she's a muser she's mentally talented so she's not music oh no wait this is princess oh that's princess anna whoops okay so princess may is musically talented yep i figured so princess may is doing her homework i'm going to have princess anna help her with her homework so why don't you go up here princess amira finished her homework like so so fast um and then we're gonna have prince kellen also finish his homework and then have the adults help them with that they like always go into their parents room to do homework which is kind of interesting Maybe because like they want to be with their mom or like feel closer to her mom because her portraits aren't here. So maybe they do her homework to like be, be around her portraits, guys. Oh gosh, okay, so Princess Anna is having her baby. I'm not gonna have her have the baby um, at the hospital or anything like that. Can we, yeah, okay. I, I didn't know if we could go into build mode with this. I'm gonna have her because we do have this little nursery here. Um, so what is it called? A bassinet, rockabye bassinet. Um, and I do have cribs. I just, I forgot to download the mod that, um, where you can move the baby into the crib. So I forgot to do that. Um, so I'm not going to worry about that right now though. Like I would like to use the cribs, but we don't have to do that at the moment. So why don't we go ahead and just have them use this fancy little vampire crib. But yeah, I, I feel like they can just like the baby can stay in the nursery for now. So they don't have to move like right away. Cause it's not like we don't have a bedroom for the baby or anything like that. So we're going to have princess Anna have her baby. And I'm kind of excited to see if it's a boy or a girl. I actually like haven't picked out names yet. And I'm, I'm recording this. I haven't even posted the video where they're trying for a baby. So if you guys have made suggestions for baby names, I haven't seen it. But you guys are, I mean, of course, are still welcome to if, if they have another baby in the future. I don't know if I'm going to have them try for another baby, at least not at the moment. Um, so we'll see. Okay, so she had a baby girl. Um, I don't know if I should make her last name. I don't think this is going to fit, but I was thinking of doing like Brindleton 
Brindleton Wind. Yeah, no, that's not gonna work. I was like, Brindleton Windenburg? Um, I'm going to, I think I'm gonna have, oh gosh, I don't know what their last name should be. I think I'm gonna have her last name be Windenburg, guys. They might move back to Windenburg, so I'm not sure. Um, I mean, I, I can always change her last name later, but Prince, okay, so it's a, it's a baby girl. Um, Princess, mmm, I, I, I haven't thought this through. I didn't even think of a name. Should it be Princess Alice? I think that one of the one of our kids, one of the Windenburg kids, will probably name their baby after their mother. I don't think Princess Anna would name her baby after her mother, or maybe she would name it after her mother. And her mother's name was Isabel, but then we already have a Princess Belle. So yeah, no, never mind. Um, she can name it after one of her grandmother. Her yeah, her grandmother's name was Princess. Oh, was it Ezra? I think it, I think that's her direct grandmother. It's one of her ancestors. I like Ezra. I think we're gonna go with that. Um, I think it's very different and unique, so I think we're gonna go with that. Um, is that her grand? It is her grandmother. Yep, Princess Ezra was her grandmother, so she's naming her baby after her grandmother. Um, so I like that, guys. So yeah, this is Princess Ezra. We'll have her stay as a baby for just a little bit of little bit of time um but i'm going to end this episode here because i think it is getting a little bit long so i hope you guys enjoyed this in the next episode i think we're going to have princess amira age up so it will be her birthday i'm really excited for you guys to see that so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit that like button. well yeah hit that like button if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications and i will see you guys in the next video bye